Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jimmy Pink and hi to my pink ladies and my T-Birds and I was trying to find something to talk about today because today is day 8 of the Hunt for Pink October where I wear pink every day and do a video every day for the entire month of October for breast cancer awareness so let's go ahead and knock that out right now BAM! BAM! Wherever it go Donation link number one, please donate to help support um, breast cancer organizations, whichever one that I choose. I never know which one I'm going to choose, so you just have to click on it and find out. Um, I was thinking about... The complete and utter backlash against Alaska Talks. So we're going to go ahead and name this video... Team Katya and the downfall of Alaska Talks. Now, before we get into that, um, I just want to say a couple other things that happened before we get into drag race shit. Donald Trump is a douchebag. At the risk of losing any subscribers, it's a Donald Trump supporter. But let's face it, if you're this into RuPaul's Drag Race and this into hip hop, that you're watching my videos, you're probably not a Trump supporter. I can't say that. For sure, probably not. Let's just be honest. Um, and I apologize for that. But however, as someone who has been sexually assaulted, um, yeah, just oh, locker room, locker room talk, my ass. Locker room talk is yeah, she got a fat ass. Yeah, I hit that. Locker room talk is not bragging about I just force myself on people, I just kiss them and grab them by the pussy. Like, no. On top of the fact that this ain't Charlie Sheen, this ain't Chris Brown, we ain't talk we talking about somebody that's running for president. You gotta do better. And the unfortunate thing is, is you can't. Because you're a fucking sociopath with delusions of grandeur to think the world is your fucking platter and that you are the greatest thing since sliced bread when really you are the worst thing since moldy bread that you accidentally bit into on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich when you were as hungry as you could possibly get. Now, let's move on from that and let's get into this good old drag race key key that we got going here. Now, my episode 7 review, and I'll link that if you haven't seen it, has the most hits of any other review that I've ever done five times as many. So I had to ask myself, are you really getting to the point where you're getting that many viewers? Because I don't consider myself to be like a major YouTube player. I'm getting there. I'm trying to get there. I don't consider myself to even be one of the major RuPaul's Drag Race reviewers. But when I got over 4,000 views on my video in one day, it had to be a reason for that. And I'm not 100% sure it was me paying homage to Alyssa Edwards. What I mean by that is, is I know that this episode was going to be highly polarizing. Okay. Here's the thing. When you have one queen who has been in the bottom five out of seven times, you have another queen that has been winning everything, whether it's warranted or not, who throws a fucking hissy fit because they're on the bottom. And you have another queen who you're kind of looking at is slaying the competition and don't get props. But the one person that everybody is like needs to go home, you save because that's your best friend. It just so happens these three people is all in the same clique and are known to be in the same clique. People are so frustrated and so angry about Alaska Talks. To the point where I really believe if Katya don't win, we all know that this is a setup and we can all go ahead and just pack it up and say, we can still try to watch this for entertainment, but we know it's not its not going to be fair. Here's the reason why I say this. So at the end of season, excuse me, at, at, at the end of episode 7, and for those of us, if this is your first go-round on Drag Race, 
welcome. But for most of us, especially for all stars, we've been fans for a while. I'm not going to say we all been super fans like me from Jump, but we've all been fans for a while. Enough that we know when it comes to the end, they ask you, hashtag team, who are you at? Post it on Facebook and Twitter and your social media because we look at that and we're going to see who has the most votes and that does have, that weighs on who's going to win. Couple of things I want to tell you personally. After the episode, you know how Twitter has trending, you know, trending topics 1 through 20, 1 through 15, or however it's set up, depending. Not only in my own personal tailored tweets, I got out of my tailored tweets and went to just the United States in general. The only two things that was trending was Team Katya and Team Alyssa who wasn't even eligible. People were pissed she got kicked off over Roxy Andrews. Okay. Now before I did this video, because I'm sitting here, y'all know what it is when y'all see the background, I'm at the gig. And I go and just happen to scroll through. Well, let me see. Let me put in All Stars 2. Let me put in Drag Race. Let me just scroll through and see. There are so many more mentions of Team Katya. Like 5 to 1 over Alaska easily. Let me tell you what else I've seen. Hashtag. She's the new Jinx. Well, I'm sorry. Katya is the new Jinx. I've seen a whole bunch. I know y'all, all of y'all haven't seen it. Go on Twitter, Pandora Box uh, tweeted it. I retweeted it. Um, it's a picture of Mean Girls where they had photoshopped the faces to be Relaska Toxes, the Plastics, and Katya and her, <laughs> uh, Lindsay Lohan's character. It's awesome. But, this is not an accident. When they cast this show and made it so season five heavy, hear me now. They made it so season five heavy to the point where half of the girls were season five, three of which were Alaska tops. And now they're the top four. They're in the top four. Here's what I want to talk about. Now I'm pulling up my good old Wikipedia because when I even first heard the girls that were going to be on All Stars, there were some notable names that I was shocked were not on there. And I'm going to go ahead and look this up so I can get a few. Okay. And of course, some of these girls, and I have some questions for y'all that maybe y'all can help me out. Y'all know I like to kiki, I like to participate, I like interaction. So can y'all let me know, because I've even asked on Twitter, I've even asked at RuPaul's Drag Race, at RuPaul, if... Some of the contestants we know have have has transitioned or are in the process of transitioning into full-fledged women, such as Carmen Carrera, uh, Kylie Sonique Love, um, Julie Caliente, and Kenya Michael that I know of. I don't know who else has done it. But does that now make them ineligible? If, if y'all know, let, let me know at the bottom because if that doesn't make them ineligible, I would be like utterly surprised that Carmen Carrera or Kenya Michaels wasn't back. But anyway, um, some other people that I thought people may have wanted to see. Anjana, for sure. Porkchop. People were clamoring for Porkchop to come back because of that um, documentary, was it Trans America? I can't remember, I watched the documentary about the show though. Um, people really want to see her back. And of course I'm gonna exclude people that were on All Stars once. Because of course they're probably not gonna bring them back. But, um, Delta Work. I was really shocked that did, like, Delta Work. Um, let me see who else. We know Willem, they wasn't gonna call Willem back. We knew that. Okay. Um, I was very, very shocked. Ivy Winters. People liked her. I didn't. But people really liked her, even though she was season five, too. So I guess that would be not. Kelly Mantle did shock me. Kelly Mantle. Milk. Laganja Estranja. Trinity. 
Um, ben De La Creme was a very, very huge shock for me. That Ben De La Creme didn't come back. Um, and pretty much everybody else that I was shocked that didn't come back. Oh, I'm sorry, Trixie Mattel. That did shock me. Trixie Mattel didn't come back. Um, and everybody else was from season eight. So we know that they can't come back because they filmed it back to back. But Detox I got, Alaska I got, Roxy Andrews I never got why they called her back. I never got why they called Coco Montrese back. So the thing I'm saying is this. These are reality shows. Have y'all ever seen the show Unreal? About how like each they have so many producers and the shit that they do to make the show good. Like they put Rolaska Talks back together for a reason. Whether it was to paint them as they was clicking as they was a click, or because they was a click. In any case, they brought them all back for a reason. They brought them all back for a reason. Now here's where my problem lies. If I had to pick someone, and I've even said this in my previous video, I myself personally am Team Detox. Okay? She has slayed the runway, the house down boots. I feel like there are challenges that she should have been in the top that she was not. The one time that she was in the bottom, I did not understand why. And the one time that she was in the bottom, she was in the bottom with Roxy and Tatiana. And everybody clearly was like, well, Detox ain't going home because she wasn't really in the bottom anyway. So I say that to say this, I am Team Detox, but right now, the hate for Verlaska Tox is so real that there is no way that Detox wins. There's no way that Detox wins because it was it's not a lot of Team Detox anyway, but if you really look at the show and really watch the consistency, like I say it all the time, I'm like, they're sleeping on her. They're sleeping on her. I, if if y'all watch all my reviews, Y'all tell me how many times I said that shit. They sleeping on her. They sleeping on detox. They sleeping on detox. I said it in almost every episode. But now that she did this shit where she saved Roxy for a fifth time and openly said because I can't send my best friend home even though I gave her props for keeping it 100 and saying yeah it's RuPaul's best best friend race to me I can't send my best friend home I give her all the props in the world for being honest about it and not giving no bullshit ass excuse like she let me borrow a fucking halter top but at the end of the day nobody wanted to see Roxy say she been in the bottom too much she should have been gone so now it's a lot of hatred towards Detox for that. It's some all over Laska Talks bullshit. Now, excuse me. Now, with that being said, when Alaska saved her, it was some bullshit both times. Um, and Alaska, somebody once, I forget, I apologize because I'm about to plagiarize you. I'm actually about to quote you, but I don't remember which reviewer said it. I'm sorry. But they brought out a good point. Well, if Alaska was at the top three times, she's won lipstick three times, and before that night, so let's let's take these, let's take episode seven out of it for a minute. So Rossi had been in the bottom four out of six times, and Alaska had won three. So who saved her? So who saved her? I rest my case. So who saved her? If she been if before last night, before before season before episode seven, if she had been in the bottom four out of six times, the first time she was the first time she won. Okay, she won the first challenge. She was in the bottom the next week. Alaska won because Alaska sent Tatiana home twice, and one other time, who did she say? Roxy. Um, this other time she was saved was Detox. Who saved her the other time, y'all? Y'all comment below and let me know. Because she been in the bottom five times. That means she had to get saved five times. Well, Alaska Talks saved her four. I don't think Detox has been in the top no other time. 
Yes, she has. Yes, she fucking has. Yes, she fucking has. And she saved fucking Roxy Andrews. Yes, she has. So every time the Roxy Andrews been saved, it's been a fucking Relaska Talks thing. Oh my God. Mind blowing. Y'all just see, y'all just see my mind blow live on camera because I just fucking sat down and talked that shit out. So every time Roxy was in the bottom, she got saved by either Detox or Alaska. Well, shit. Hate on. Video over. I don't even know why we talking no more. Video over. Hate on. Shit. Hate on. Katya will win. Katya's gonna win because people are disgusted. And now that I just sat here and figured that shit out, so wait a minute. You mean to tell me them is the only motherfuckers that have been saving Roxy in the video over? Video over. I was gonna try to get into some shit. I done got in my I done got in my motherfucking feelings now. Video over. The Relaska talks is fucking real. Even though, based on the challenges, I still think I'm team detox. But that shit is never going to fucking happen because if I just sat here and figured that out live on camera, wait till somebody on BuzzFeed or fucking Collider or fucking any of them other shows actually sit down and break that shit down. If I could just do it off the top of my head and that shit hit the fan, it's going to be worse than double Donald Trump talking about grabbing somebody by the pussy. It's over. It's over. It's over and done, folks. But here's the thing that's over and done. This is where it gets good. Because RuPaul's Drag Race, what y'all going to do? What y'all going to do? Because right now, the world is team fucking Katya. You still got some scribbler scri holder owners. I, I cannot believe I'm comparing this shit to the fucking U.S. presidential election. But you got some straggler on us like, but Alaska is doing good. But Alaska is doing good. Oh, I'm not saying Alaska really said this. Just understand the metaphor. Oh, she said all, she said, uh, all Mexicans is rapists. That's, that's all right. You still make America great again. Make America great again. Oh, we found out that he got sued for, on some racist shit for not letting black people rent. It's, okay, that's just cool. I'm still with him. I'm still with him. You still got your holder on us. It's just like Alaska, do. Oh, you was talking about Nancy O'Dell, talking about something you be forcibly, forcibly kissing women and trying to get her and you knew she was married, you just got married yourself, grab her by the pussy. Oh, motherfucker, you tripping, I'm done. I'm not endorsing you no more. I'm not endorsing you no more. But you still got them couple scraggler on us that's still trying to ride that Trump train it's all, all, for all it's worth. That is exactly what is fucking happening with Alaska right now. Like, y'all want to say it wasn't over Alaska Talks? And y'all can call it editing if y'all want to. But at the end of the day, the fucking numbers are fucking there. Roxy Andrews is in the bottom five times. Three times she was saved by Alaska, two times she was saved by Detox. And as for her trying to bribe motherfuckers to stay, like, I find that to just completely be utterly ridiculous and she should have been disqualified for that shit. But, you know, again, again, relating it to the election, you know, Donald Trump basically invited Russia to hack in the U.S. government and basically alluded to having Hillary Clinton assassinated. He should have been disqualified. He wasn't. Um, so anyway, y'all comment below, let me know, I'm sorry, I was trying not to get political at all, but I had to get a little bit, I mean, I should have got on the shirt to say vote. Um, plus, that's like the only shit, I hate doing videos for y'all on Saturday and Sundays, because there's nothing going on but fucking politics and sports, and I really, I'm interested in both, but I don't want to do videos about them. So anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, um, let me know who y'all, y'all put y'all team team who y'all is in the bottom um let's do a little poll why why not you know what let's do that let's do a little bit of a poll and i will actually go through and count this shit up and on my next video i'll let y'all know what the outcome is so y'all put y'all hashtag team who y'all are so that would be Kat, team katya team detox team roxy or team alaska y'all go ahead y'all put that down there I'm going to count them up and I'll let y'all know what it is by the time I do my next video. If you didn't vote before I do my, my next Drag Race video. 
Y'all don't vote by the time I do my next Drag Race video. It don't count. So, I want to thank all of you for watching, subscribing, viewing. Um, let me put the, one more link. Y'all already know what it is. If y'all watch my other videos, it may take up to three days for the actual link to appear. So, you may have to stop back. But, thank you so much, my pink ladies, my T-birds, new subscribers, new watchers, viewers, and just general Drag Race fans. Deuces.